Hey guys, so a large part of my videos is b-roll footage, and that means voiceovers. For the past couple of videos, I've been using the Rode NT USB microphone. Before that, it was the Yeti, and before that, it was a couple of shotgun microphones, including the Rode NTG4 Plus, and before that, it was a Blue Bluebird, and so on. So by no means professional, but definitely quite pricey. Today, we're going to be looking at a microphone on the opposite end of the hierarchy. For $30, can the Axel Van BM800 perform? Let's check it out. There are a multitude of microphones in this price range, but the BM800 gained popularity for its overperforming audio quality, and that's what I'm here to check out. The box it comes in is pretty standard, containing the microphone itself, a shock mount, a windshield slash pop filter, the XLR cable, and finally a USB adapter. Most inbuilt sound cards on computers don't give out enough power to, through the mic jack to power an XLR microphone. But using the included USB adapter, you can plug the microphone into a USB port, which will have plenty of power. This whole video was recorded with the Rode NT USB microphone, but now I'm going to switch over to the BM800 to give you an idea of what it sounds like. So this is the test of the BM800 microphone. The one thing you'll notice is that it is a very quiet microphone. I had to boost the levels up, so you're going to hear quite a bit of noise. It is expected though that for a microphone at this cost, the audio isn't going to be great right off the bat. I'm going to do a little bit of post-processing the audio and show you the difference. Okay guys, so what you're listening to right now is the same everything, same microphone, same setup, but this time I've done a little bit of editing and post. As you can hear, it sounds a lot better, and I'm using Adobe Audition, which is quite pricey, so you can definitely use something like Audacity, I know that one's a great free one, or any other alternative software. So now, the big question, is it a good microphone or should you upgrade to something a little higher end, maybe a Blue Yeti or a Rode NT-USB? As a general rule, you always want to get the best microphone that you can afford. If you can afford the Yeti or the NT-USB, go for it. Especially with Black Friday coming up, you can snag a Yeti for $70 or lower. If $30 is all you can afford though, the BM800, along with a little bit of work in post, won't let you down. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. I'm Anmar AJ and I'll see you guys in the next one.